Phenomena are central to our understanding of science. They're observable events, um, and these observable events ultimately can be explained with the use of evidence, in other words, data, um, observations, um, with the application of logic, and the uh, uh, use of scientific principles. And so uh, we're going to go through a variety of different examples of phenomena, but this is just a list of literally billions and trillions of phenomena that you could use to study science. So here we have a uh, jet breaking the sound barrier. Uh, one of the phenomena is that there's a, a sonic boom. And uh, why is there a sonic boom when, when a jet travels fast in the sound? Um, or why does this cloud form over the wings um, when any jet travels so fast, particularly uh, over the speed of sound? Here we're looking at a granite tabletop. Um, what are the color variations in the granite countertop due to? Um, or what determines the size of the crystals that you see in the granite countertop? Um, let's say a student's looking at uh, a leaf and you notice some aphids. So they might ask the question, why are aphids found on some plants and not on others? Or why are the aphids found on the underside of the leaves more uh, frequently than on the top side of the leaves? So each of these is a phenomenon or a sub-phenomenon. So for example, the, the presence of aphids on leaves is a phenomenon. Uh, the uh, relative or the apparent uh, um, preference for the aphids on the lower surface of the leaf is uh, yet another phenomenon. So you may be driving down the street and you notice cracks in the road. So here we see a crack right next to the yellow line going uh, down the middle of the street. Well, that's a phenomenon. So the real question is, why do cracks appear in roads? Or why do they oftentimes follow painted lines? You may be looking at the sunset and just say, wow, why are the clouds so colorful? In fact, why are they so much more colorful at sunrise or sunset than the middle of the day? Um, or why are sunrise or sunsets red, orange, and yellow rather than green, blue, and violet? So a phenomenon would be the color of a sunrise or a sunset, uh, and not just why it's some colors, but why it's never the other colors. Maybe you're looking at uh, ice that's uh, uh, fallen on the tabletop, and you may wonder why does ice melt more quickly on some surfaces than it does on others? Or why does the water bead up um, rather than flatten out? Um, let's say you pour out a salt from a salt shaker and you look at it uh, using a hand lens app on your cell phone and you notice that all of the, the, the crystals are cubic. Well, that's a, that's a phenomenon. Or uh, you might notice that some of the crystals are larger than others. That's another phenomenon. In other words, the relatively different sizes of these salt crystals. Uh, you go out in the garden, you notice that <laughs> almost all, but not all, almost all the leaves you see out there are green. And, and why do uh, plant leaves appear green? That's a, that's a very interesting phenomenon. But also you might look at those leaves and notice that they vary with environment. The ones in the shade tend to be larger than the ones in the sunlight or, or some other kind of um, observation, which would be a phenomenon and uh, something worthy of investigation. Maybe you're in a biology lab and you're looking at the, uh, um, the, the speed of uh, DNA fragments in electrophoresis. So what determines the speed? Obviously, these ones here are traveling faster than the ones below it. Um, and, uh, but also, why do different samples like track A differ from track B? So what's the phenomenon which is uh, what, what is the cause of the phenomenon, whereas track A and track B have different patterns? Let's say you release some helium balloons up into the atmosphere, and, uh, you know, it's a phenomenon. The helium balloons tend to rise. Why is that? Um, and also, why do some rise faster than others? That's another phenomenon. In other words, that they're not all rising at the same rate. So uh, let's say you do a flame test in a chemistry classroom and you notice that uh, the elements glow it differently. Why? <laughs> okay, so the, the phenomenon is that we have some that uh, glow kind of a purplish, others are reddish, some are blue. Um, but also you might notice that uh, there's two flames. There's an internal flame and there's an external flame. And uh, that would be a phenomenon. You notice an, uh, across the... Um, our study of flames, that there's two different flames. Uh, why is there an internal flame and an external flame? 
maybe you're looking out uh, just at uh, a pond or you know forest and you notice that uh, there's leaves of different colors um, you might ask why do leaves turn yellow and and are red in the in the autumn um, or what determines the shades or colors that the leaves turn so all these are just examples of some some phenomena that are worthy of investigation and development of explanations